Day oh, she wow. first moved in, she's like, you gotta watch. Rachel, I'm gonna warn you when you play cards on the floor, there's gonna be hair all over. First day she moves in, I'm picking hair off my cards. Let's see what else did she do. I hope that all you seniors, I hope that all you seniors will succeed and have a good future. Have fun today. Bad trouble, you know. Work hard. Just be yourself. That's all you gotta do. That's nice. Stay out of trouble and don't do what me and Rachel did and be cool. Focus. <laughs> you can take care, have fun, and I'll miss all my friends. Like Rachel. I had a good one too. Enjoy it while it lasts because it goes by very quick. I still feel like a freshman. I mean, it still feels like I haven't been here for four years. No okay. Four years is a long time. I feel like that. And it doesn't is. feel like it at all. Still feels like we've been here for like a year and a half or a year, and that's about it.
freshman year was the funnest. <laughs> but I'm glad I came back after I left because it's been fun and better than being at home. And I'll miss it. and make the most of it and make the most of it because it doesn't last long or you have to be responsible. Well, I guess the message I want to leave is just remember that the best things in life are free and don't take anything for granted and, pe and treat people how you want to be treated because it all comes back to you in the end. No. Try to make every year fun because not every year is going to be the same because every year is different because there's constantly new people. And every year you come back there's always going to be all these new people and but then in the end you'll all be just happy family just crying when you leave again and just make the best of it. Keep up in school. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to have Miss Campin a few times. Why do you want them to remember you? Why should Edge can remember you? Because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you're planning on doing anything with your life, you gotta take your schoolwork seriously. Because, I mean, if you fail that class, you know, and you think, oh, one class is nothing, you're going to have to take it over again, and you're just going to be kicking yourself in the butt the whole year you have to retake it. And if you want to do anything with your life, this is when you got to do the work to get the grades, to get into a good college, to get a decent education, to get a good job, to make lots of money. I mean, you, a lot of kids, you know, you want so much, but this is where you put it in to get that stuff. Unless you're going to steal it and stuff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or win it. Yeah. You know, it's been fun. You're going to do something, go all out. Don't go halfway, don't go, you know, don't go part way, don't just start it. You do something, you finish it. It's That's been right. fun. Yeah, I hear you. Let him first. This is to everybody, my words of advice. Well, not really advice, but my thoughts. Everybody has dreams, and right now while you're in high school and you look at your dreams and you think that you can't make it to them, and you think that it's impossible to get there, it's not. All you have to do is work hard in school and do what you want to do. Have fun, of course. That's always the biggest thing. <laughs> but there's always those dreams that you think of in your mind and you're like, man, I want to do that when I get older. And you can. It just starts right here while you're in high school. If you do everything right, you can get to your dreams. That's right, bro. And to all you ladies, peace and happiness forever. <laughs> Just for you, kid. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> all right. Um, just for you, I guess. <laughs> I'll miss you, and I will never forget you. Enjoy it while it lasts because it's yeah, gonna go by too. so fast. And so you're like, man, yeah. I'm only a freshman. And now it's like, man, this is like just yesterday we were freshmen. And I still feel like a freshman. I act like a freshman <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'm, <full. laughs> I'm just a fool. I'm excited to, excited to go. <laughs> excited to graduate. I think it's been like 45 more days or something like that. Can't wait. What are you going to do this summer? I'm going to help my parents fish guides, and then we're going to take off to Wisconsin in August. Cool. Yep, drive my dad's bet. Well, my sister, she's probably going to be back next year, and hope she stays and keep it up, and did what I did, graduate here, as if the gym is still open. Mm. I must have a lot that I want to, but I mean, 
Mostly I just want to leave people with my friendship. And I hope the freshmen, they don't, they stay out of trouble and... And if they do get in trouble, then they take the consequences for what they are and learn from them instead of just being proud of it. My senior quote, never assume, makes an ass out of you and me. Peace. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> me? Mm -hmm. My captor? <laughs> uh, college. What are you going to study? Veterinarian, I guess. What, oh, U.S. Yeah. history? <laughs> I thought you were going to study U.S. history. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Veterinarian. Um, it's been really hard for me in my senior year because I've had so much work to catch up on. Leaving my freshman year was, was pretty bad for me. It's going to be really interesting when I finally get on my own because I've never gotten out on my own before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be leaving, but then I want to stay and do some more. I'm going to miss all my friends. And even though there's six weeks, it seems like it's a long time. The advice I'd like to leave is like, um, have lots more fun in high school than I did because I'm mostly focused on school. And when I look back, I try to remember fun things I did with my friends and I can't really remember any. So just take time out and have fun. <coughs> Do things that you enjoy because you only get to live once and you can't ever go back. To my niece, Sharon, just be tough and hopefully you'll stay here all four years even though I was only here three. And I know you can do it, especially with the friends you've got now. It's nice. Mr. Stein, never to straighten his tie. It's perfect the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's, that's very good. Can you say that? That's one of the reasons why I'm sort of upset about leaving. Um, but to all those people who, this is kind of a long list, they know who they are. At least I hope they do. And if they don't, they will have to tell them. But um, I love all, all of you, and I'll miss you. I've, I just know I'll never forget my memories here. And even though it's been hard being away from home, and a lot of times I just want to jump on a plane and go home because I didn't think any of this was worth it, I guess I'll always remember everything and everybody I met here, even the big losers like Liam. Oh. <laughs> oh. But... Um, sports have been great, and I hope to remember by, be remembered by sports, and I just want to say goodbye to everybody, and goodbye isn't forever, and I hope to see all you guys again. I'm going to miss all of my friends, my sister, I had a lot of fun with Larissa, Monica, Terry, Jay, Stacy, basketball trips, volleyball trips, FTA trips. Washington close-up. <laughs> Took a lot of pictures, and no, I'm not a camera hog, like Ray May said, but, and I'm gonna miss Nathan, too. Cute. Not cute, I'm a handsome man. You know, coming here 5'2 and leaving 6'2. Uh, so you're gonna do a lot of growing up while you're here. You know, you're gonna, sure, I forgot to do that, and Let's just stick with it because it'll seem tough at times, but you know, the fun will always. What's the word I'm looking for? The fun will always outdo, outwill, overcome. Outweigh. Outweigh the outweigh the downtimes you had. To all my I guess things that will mostly say goodbye to <laughs> is my cross country career here which I've had, and I think I'd miss the most. The most even, I didn't name them all. My friends, they've been great. They helped me go through these years. And things I gotta say to you, other guys out there, the younger people, tough it out. <laughs> it, it's worth it. I'm going to miss the school.
I've been going here for two years now. And it's all my friends, although I haven't made that many here. So I um, hope the school leaves me or something I can bring to my job or to, to college. And yeah, really, I don't want to leave. So, but anyway, goodbye, everybody. For the last three years, I've been working towards just that goal of graduating and trying to have fun while I was here. And I've done that. Of course, there's been good times and bad times, but you have to take it all. You have to take the good with the bad. So that's like the real challenge, taking it all the good with the bad. It's been, it's been really fun, even though I didn't know anybody when I first came here. But now all the people I've known and never seen again. Goodbye to everybody. But I know that Alaska is a small town, and I'll see everybody again. Sometimes, somehow. <laughs> Always hear about somebody. Oh, you hear about so and so. I know them kind of things always happen. And um, I don't know. <laughs> well, gee, what can I say? I've been here for four years and made a great impact on my life. Um, I met a lot of friends, and it's gonna really say it's gonna be really hard saying goodbye but I know I'll see him again. And I'd like to say a special thanks to my grandpa, Don Hunter Sr., for forcing me to come here or, you know, and pushing my expectations. Um, I'd like to say good luck to my sister, Cheryl, and hope that she's a four-year senior, too. And um, keep up the good work, and I hope they're uh, underclassmen and Juniors and everyone, I hope you all return next year and continue to succeed. And good luck to all the seniors. I hope everybody succeeds in whatever they want to do. And I hope everybody does something that's worthwhile. <laughs> and um, I want to just say thanks to my mom for everything she's done for me and for putting up with my attitude sometimes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Stein. I'm the Japanese and Chinese teacher, so I suppose I should say konnichiwa, or I suppose I could say ni hao. Also teach pack rim, as I'm sure nobody's going to forget that. And I'm a senior class advisor. And it's um, been real nice being with these students for four years. Maybe the last time that uh, any teachers rotate through the whole, all four years with these students, and I, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't tell how much I've seen people change and, and uh, grow and just, just really become great citizens. Right now, I'm wearing my class of 1992 t-shirt because I was an, obviously an advisor for that class, but I may not be wearing a class of 96 t-shirt, but I'll always have the class of 96 in my heart. Sayonara. My name is Greg Grashik, as you know, most everybody knows, I hope. Um, this is my domain here in the computer lab. I teach computers. I also teach a ETT class, and I coach cross country. And that's my job here. So it's all around nice guy most of the time. And at Monash Group High School, I teach uh, U.S. history, Alaska history, and contemporary Alaska issues, and I'm the advisor of the National Honor Society. Okay. I'd like to say a special thanks to my aides that are seniors, A.J. Garrett and Monica Nelson and Zena Cooper. I couldn't have done it without you, so thanks a lot. Ready? Okay. Make sure you got them head All right. I'm Bob Love, and I teach health, and I'm also the academic counselor here at Monash Group High School. And my message for the seniors is, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Don't settle for second best. And whatever you uh, decide to do, uh, give it your best effort. Oh, my name.
of these nights and about twelve o'clock this old world's going to reel and rock saints we all tremble and cry for pain for the lord's going to come in his heaven airplane <laughs>
except for the Pope may be in Rome. My name is Alexandra Andrew. I'm from Dillingham and I'm 16. My name is Charles Woods. I'm 18 and I'm from Tanna. My name is Lester Wood, I'm from Rampart, and I'm 17. Hi, my name is Leona. You're not ready? Hi, my name is Leona Kamaroff. I'm from Mewanik, and I'm 18 years old. My name is Bunk Martin. I'm 16. I'm from Good News Bay. My name is Abraham Anascock. I'm from Koyuk, and I'm 16. My name's Scott, Matt Lickham, I'm from Juneau, and I'm 16. My name's Dave Hill, I'm 16, and I'm from Cottesville. My name is Larissa Summer, I'm from Galena, and I'm 16. I'm Kenneth Sewell, I'm from Maniac, and I'm 16. <laughs> My name is Rusty Lewis, I'm 16, and I'm from McGrath. My name is Jules Plutnikoff, I'm 16 and, oh my gosh, hold on, <laughs> let me start over. My name is Juliana Plutnikoff, I'm 17. <laughs> <laughs> my name, my name is Juliana Plutnikoff, I'm 17 and I'm from St. Paul. My name is Kelly Ningok. I'm 17 years old from Shishmaref, Alaska. Hello, I'm Dan Klonat from Clarkland. I'm 16. My name is Diane Atti. I'm from Kwajalingad, and I'm 17. My name is Ron Burnson. I'm 17, and I'm from Old Harbor. Let's see. My name is Kirsty Urbeck, I'm from Juneau, and I'm 16. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Keshtuck, I'm from Anchorage, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Nikki Jong, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Taylor, Alaska. My name is Patrick Tanner, I'm from Fairbanks, I'm 17. I'm Julie Payne from McGrath, and I'm 16. Hi, I'm Stacy Pesterkoff from Old Harbor and I'm 16. 17. <laughs> I'm Janelle Murray from Elam, Alaska and I'm 17. My name is Grace Alstrom. I'm 16 and from Loch Ness. I'm from, I'm Karen Hess from Mount Village and I'm 17. Well, my name is Wesley Bradman. I'm from Manly Hot Springs. I'm 18 years old. My name is Sonia, and I'm from Kipnik, and I'm 16. My name is Frank Nikolai, I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Ekwa. My name is Harry Packentack, I'm from Wainwright, and I'm 16 years old. 17. <laughs> I'm Albert Stern, and I live at two places throughout the year, that's Euclid, Alaska, and Wainwright, Alaska, and I'm 17. Hi, my name is Mary Wallach. I'm from Keller and I'm 17. Hi, I'm Ray May. I'm from Port Lyons and I'm 16 years old. My name is Dave McMullen. I'm 17 and I'm from Polk. My name is Kathy Housley and I'm from Stevens Village and I'm 17 years old. I'm Andrew Laguire. I'm from Sitka, Alaska and I'm 17 years old. My name is Joe Reed, I'm from McGrath, and I'm 17 years old. Okay, my name is Dustin McCoy, I'm 17, I'm from Fairbanks. Hi, my name is Daryl Coffey, I'm 16, and I'm from Stebbins. My name is Dimitri Shane, I'm 18, and I'm from St. Paul. My name is Andre Mitchell, I'm from Sound Point, and I'm 17. 
My name is Nira Andrews, I'm from Alaknagik and I'm 16 years old. Um, I'm Melissa Claudia, I'm 18 and I'm from Ecuador. My name is Billy Kapana, I'm 16 and I'm from Bethel. My name is Casey Murray, I'm from Nocatee, I'm 16. My name is Kevin Pamaroff. I'm 16, I'm from Anchorage. I'm Marcy Cogsbrook from Teller, I'm 16 years old. My name is Mitchell Johnson, I'm 16 and I'm from Uniquid, Alaska. My name is Elia Gomez, I'm 17 and I'm from Cobra. My name is Nadetta Swetsov, I'm 18 years old and I'm from St. Paul Island. Ready? My name is Amanda Salmon. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Telkeetsik. My name is My name is Amber Jakinski. I'm from Anchorage and I'm 17. My name is Jessica Mark. I'm from Twin Hills and I'm 16 years old. My name is Andy Miller. I'm 16. I'm from Juneau. My name is Carl Weisner, I'm from Kostadu and I'm 16. My name is Curtis Francis, I'm 16 and I'm from Pollock Station. Hi, my name is Nocton Backer, I'm 16 years old and I'm from Alakaki. Hi, I'm Irene Captain, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Old Harbor. <laughs> My name is Patty Westlock, I'm from Iwanak and I'm 17. My name is Frank Johnson, I'm 17, I'm from Uniquid, Alaska. My name is Elise Cleveland, I'm from Abilene, I'm 16. Okay, my name is Elizabeth Rose McCoy, I'm from St. Paul Island, I'm 16 years old. I'm Jackie Cleveland, I'm 17 and I'm from Quinhawk. I'm Pamela Stinkoff, I'm 16 and I'm from St. Paul. <laughs> My name is Irene Kersey, I'm 17 and from Manicote. Yeah. I'm Micah from Sitka and I'll be 17 next week. My name is Lindsay Ambrose. I'm 15 years old and I'm from New Lado. My name is Sherry Bluda. I'm 16 and I'm from Lund Dalton. Rebecca Fisher, Fort Yukon, 16. Okay. Hi, my name is Sharon Couch. I teach various junior and senior English classes, including speech and drama. Uh, I am an advisor for student council and also a junior class advisor. And uh, my message to the junior class is that it was great working with you guys this year on Junior Senior Banquet and prom. I've never seen proms end so quickly or torn apart so quickly. Okay, my name is uh, Bob Chastain. I teach uh, wellness classes here at Mount Edgecombe High School, physical education, uh, health issues. I coordinate the wellness program. I'm the wellness coordinator. And I think we have a great junior class, and I'm really looking forward to the junior class next year doing some great things in the school. I'm glad to, uh, glad to have all these students uh, here this year, and I hope all those juniors return for next year. Looking forward to a great year. All right, thanks, Gary and Mary. Uh, my name is Colby Root, and I am an intern English teacher at Mount Edgecombe High School. Uh, I love you guys. Is it? There's a lot of action happening. They should be all attached together because there is get out of here. There was a, there's a lot of action happening right here and it's all happening at the same time, so it should okay. all be hung together. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay, keep going. Look this stood by the door and smiled at me. You girls have ten minutes to talk. 
But after that, you must turn the lights off and go to bed. Okay, well now you have the light on there. <laughs> I'm Rod Nutting, and I teach Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. Uh, message to the junior class, uh, hang in there, keep on trucking. Uh, you've got a great future, but you've got to give it your best shot. And uh, enjoy your time here at Mount Edgecombe as we enjoy working with you. Okay, well, my name is Lynn Lahey, and my job is to help other people do their jobs as well as possible. That includes staff and students. Um, my message to Mount Edgecombe students is to have a safe and well thought out summer, enjoy themselves, and come back ready to learn. Hi, my name is Sheila Smith. I work um, with the superintendent and also do admissions um, and enrollment. And just hello to Managed Come students, and hope to see a lot of you back next year.
My name is Chester Mute. I'm 15 and I'm from Bethel. My name is Renee Mollyant from Savunga and I'm 15. My name is Alice Kangas. I'm from Ruby and I'm 16. My name is Lisa Lustenkopf. I'm from St. George Island and I'm 15 years old. You guys, be quiet. My name is Warren Barclay. I'm from Mountain Village and I'm 16 years old. My name is Ashley Wallace. I'm 16 and I'm from Tanana. Um, I'm H.P. Calgrove. I'm 16 and I'm from St. Mary's. Yeah. Hey, Matthew Wazine, 14, from Cutlick. Okay. Oh. Zine, 16, Cutlick, Alaska. My name is Tina Hamilton. I'm 16 and I'm from Chagall. My name is Derek Alexi from Mountain Village. I'm 15 years old. Rick Eckman, 16, from Paul Station, Alaska. Oh, my name is Byron Hobson. I'm 16, I'm from Anaktuk Pass. Conrad Kersti, 16, Manakotic, Alaska. Algie Frisbee, 16, Heidelberg. Sam Ratcliffe, um, 16, from Whale Pass. Lakota Hillis, age 15, in Whale Pass. Helen Ulek from Fairbanks, and I'm 15. Okay, I'm Nova's wife. Fifteen, and I'm from Ileana. Okay. James Gregory from um, Kalskag, and I'm fifteen. <laughs> My name's Eva Harvey. I'm from Kobuk, and I'm sixteen. My name's Nalina Lauren Brown. I'm fifteen, and I'm from Kenai. Okay. Um, I'm Andy Head, and I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Craig, Alaska. Randy Oxrock, I'm 16, and I'm from Wells, Alaska. My name is Hans Schaefer, <laughs> and I'm from Kovac, and I'm 15. Kovac, Alaska. Flossie Sherman Teller, 15. Hi, I'm Federica Prince. I'm 15 and I'm from Kotnik. Melissa Murray, 15, Nakati. Uh, I'm James Isidore from Malaknak and I'm 15. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Beans. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Mountain Village. Are you ready? My name is Nicole Royal. I'm from McGrath, and I'm 15 years old. Crystal Hawk, 16, from Eagle, Alaska. William Merba from, oh, wait. <laughs> William Merba, 15 years old, and from Holy Cross, Alaska. Hello, my name is Wayne Katunga, and I'm from Euclid, Alaska, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Sean Alstrom. I'm 15, and I'm from Lockhart, Alaska. My name is John Hardy I'm from Port Yukon, and I'm 16. My name is Beverly Melvidoff. I'm 16, and I'm from St. Paul. Uh, my name is Justin Blanikoff. I'm 16, and I'm from St. Paul. My name is Robert Knutson. I'm from Port Yukon, Alaska. I'm 16. <laughs> My name is Shari Ballot. I'm 16 and I'm from Buckman, Alaska. My name is Makrina Andrew. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Dillingham. Christine Brandon, 16, Aquak. 
My name is Charlotte Ostrom. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Marshall. My name's Anthony Hammock. I'm 17. I'm from Sitka, Alaska. George Turok, 15, from Manicora. My name is Mal Oten. I'm 15, and I'm from Quake, Alaska. My name is Matt McCarr, 16, from Sitka, Alaska. I'm Taylor Stucker. I'm 16, and I'm from Haines, Alaska. Jordan Hodge. 16 plus one. My name is Terrence Tepperton. I'm 16 from St. Paul Island. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm Tom Tinker. I'm from Lake Mead. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Tom Tinker. I'm 15. I'm from the Lake Mead. <laughs> I'm Gary Tickett, I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Shunnapik. My name is Greta Shirk, I am 16 and from Kayana. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, my name is Tyler Blair, I am 16 and I'm from Kotzebue. Do it again. Why? My name is Jenny Rubino, I'm 16 and I'm from Pilot Point, Alaska. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Newkirk, I'm 16, and I'm from Nocatee. Can I start? Hi, my name is Walter Hill, I'm 16, and I'm from Juneau, Alaska. My name is Sandra Varga, I'm from Sand Point, and I'm 15 years old. What's up? My name is Rio Hill, I'm from Sitka, Alaska, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Alice Peavy, I'm 16, and I'm from Sitka, Alaska. So, my name is Glory Rauscher, I'm 16, and I'm from Sick, Alaska. Yeah. Good morning, my name's Gary Jarvel. I teach four classes of biology here at Mount Ishkam High School, and one environmental science class, and one marine science class, and this is my friend, Big Red. I hope that all the sophomores this year have a great junior year, and I hope they enjoyed cutting open Big Red and all his relatives. Sayonara. Hasta la vista. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm Mrs. Eldridge, and um, I am uh, in charge of all the federal programs at Mount Edgecombe High School, and so what that means is um, for students is that I'm in charge of, of student assistance, and I have a number of different kinds of classes. I teach an English lab and a math lab, and those classes are designed for students that need a little bit of extra support. When our students come to us from all over the, the state, they don't always have the same, the same levels when they come in. So sometimes, um, our math students in particular need some, some additional skills before they can go on and take college preparatory math. And for next year... I'm Lois Rhodes, the media specialist at Managecom High School. I am also the advisor for future teachers and for Battle of the Books. And for the sophomores, you better start raising money fast because of junior prom soon.
Okay, I'm Karina Moore, I'm from Canada, I'm 16. My name is Daniel, I'm 14, and I'm from Rampart. Everybody's got to be quiet. My name is Tanya Kara, I'm from Fort Yukon, and I'm 14. Okay, hi, I'm Colleen, I'm from King Cove, and I'm 15. <laughs> Um, my name is Clarissa Roberts, I'm from Canada and I'm 15. Okay. I'm Stacy Stasenko from Shishmaraf and I'm 14 years old. Hi, I'm Lucille Kugzik from Teller and I'm 14 years old. I'm Esther Nagarak from Elam and I'm 14. Okay, I'm Vanessa Dress from 15 and I'm from Burbank. My name is Oliver Mark, I'm from Twin Hills and I'm 14. My name is Jared Shield, I'm from Fairbanks, Alaska, and I'm 14 years old. My name is Adrian Francis and I'm from. <laughs> My name is Adrian Francis, I'm from Pile Station, I'm 15 years old. My name is Alice Jackson, I'm from Falls Pass, and I'm 14. Um, my name is Shirley Bergen, I'm from St. Mary's, Alaska, and I'm 15. <coughs> my name is Sharon McCoy, I'm from St. George, and I'm 15. I'm Kristen Davis, I'm from Cake, and I'm 15. Okay. My name is Tina Abbott, I'm from Hollis. <laughs> ah, okay. My name is Tina Abbott, I'm from Hollis, and I'm 15. My name is Olga Alexi, and I'm from Mountain Village, and I'm 15. I'm Cheryl Hunter, I'm from... Cheryl Hunter from Marshall, and I'm... Cheryl Hunter from Marshall and I'm 15. Vicki Heckman from Pile Station and I'm 15. Hi, my name is Gabriel Bridges. I'm from Fort Yukon and I'm 14 years old. My name is Noel Zoss. I'm from Craig, Alaska. I'm 14 years old. My name is Jeremiah Cajun. Um, <laughs> My name is Jeremiah Cajun. I'm from Bethel, Alaska, and I'm 15. My name is Noah Hansen. I'm from Wrangell, Alaska, and I'm 15 years old. Hi, my name is Sophia Sophia. Like I'm from Chattanooga, and I'm 15 years old. <laughs> and my name is Katrina Gomez. I'm from Cuba, and I'm 15 years old. I'm Carol King. I'm 15. I'm a freshman and I live in Ekwok. <laughs> My name is Peter Wiskowski. I'm from Sydney Lake and I'm 14 years old. Sir? Hi, my name is Donnie Wilson. I'm from Chenega Bay and I'm 14 and I'm a freshman. Is that it? Hi, my name is Leon Horner and I'm from Cobalt and I'm 16. My name is Patrick Aloysius. I'm from Aleknikik. I'm 14 years old. Hi, my name is Sharon Ronko. I'm 14 and I'm from Nikolai. Oh. 
I'm in Zerk Tawana from X Token M14. I am Ripple George, I'm from Clark's Point and I'm 14. Okay. My name is Geraldine Miller and I'm from Sitka and I'm 14. I'm Valerie Waters from Archmore Sulk and I'm a freshman. My name is Miley Wild. I'm from Elfin Cove and I'm 14 years old. My name is Carrie Johnson and I'm 15 and I'm from Kayana. Hi, my name is Tanya Atzak. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Wales. Hi, my name is Grant Lutic. I'm from Aleknigik and I'm 15. Okay. My name is Roberta Charles, I'm from Monica, Alaska, and I'm 15 years old. My name is Jenny Westlock, I'm from Monica, and I'm 15 years old. Okay, my name is Rebecca LaGuire, I'm from Sitka, Alaska, and I'm 15 years old. Oh, my name is Megan Joker, and I think I'm 15, and I'm from Haines. My name is Holly Melissa, I'm 15, and I'm from Juno. My name is Alexandra Solomonov, I'm 15 years old, and I'm from St. Paul. My name is Roxanne Kennedy, I'm 15, and I'm from Canada. My name is Verna Damoski, and I'm 14 years old, and I'm from Nevada, Alaska. I'm Stacey Tumblr and I'm 13 and I'm from Nimana. My name is Debbie Evans. I'm 15 and from Nome. My name is April Douglas. I'm 14 and I'm from Ambler. My name is Howard Tavala. I'm from Mosha. My name is Herbie Kinavak from Point Hope, and I'm 14 years old. My name is Stacy Joseph. I'm from Sitka, Alaska, and I'm 15 years old. All right. I'm Bill Denkinger. I'm a teacher and administrator at Onetchkum High School, and uh, Olga's favorite math teacher. Uh, message to the ninth graders would be, boy, I can't wait till you're seniors to see how much you've matured. And I hope that uh, they do a little better job of getting their math done on time, as well as the rest of the subjects. Thank you. Let's see, my name is Marty Johnson. I teach ninth grade science for the freshman block. Um, I've had a really good year this year. I've had a really good time. We've done a lot of neat projects with the freshmen. It's been, there's been a really good group of students this year and uh, it's been, been a lot of fun. You ready? Yep. I'm Karen Yerkes and I teach ninth grade English. And to the freshmen I just want to say have a wonderful summer. Come back next year because you'll have more fun. I'm going to miss you guys a little. Hi, my name is Don Surgeon. I teach geography, and next year I hope to be teaching government again. And what I have to say to the freshmen is that you guys were a great group of students, and probably one of the best group of freshmen that we've ever had academically here. And we hope that you do just as well your next three years. cities on the west coast. It was founded in 1804 by Alexander Baranov, a Russian fur trader. 
Sitka was the Russian capital from 1804 to 1867. The United States purchased the Alaskan Territory from Russia for $7.2 million in 1867. That's about two cents an acre. The capital moved to Juneau in 1900. Alaska was made the 49th state in 1959. Sitka is the largest city in the United States, geographically speaking. The city and borough of Sitka, Alaska covers 4,710 square miles. Sitka is located in southeast Alaska on the west coast of Baranoff Island. It is about 90 miles southwest of Juneau and just 800 miles north, northwest of Seattle. Today, Sitka is a thriving town with a population of 8,000. Surprisingly, it is Alaska's fifth largest city. Even though Sitka is located on an island with only 27 miles of road, there are many different options to get here. Sitka offers daily jet service from the lower 48. The Alaska Marine Highway System, or as we call it, the ferry, connects our southeast communities to each other, as well as Seattle. Float plane services connect Sitka to smaller communities that are not accessible by ferry. Sitka sounds like a pretty perfect town, doesn't it? A lot of people think of Alaska as snow, sled dogs, and igloos, but Sitka is classified as a temperate rainforest. We don't get much snow, but boy, does it rain. We receive approximately 90 to 100 inches of rain every year. That's over eight feet. But you get used to it. For as many stormy days, we have beautiful, beautiful sun-drenched days. The rain keeps everything clean, and the forests thrive with green plants and trees. We have lots of wildlife in the woods and on the islands that surround Sitka. Animals in our area include the black-tailed deer, brown bear, mountain goat, and bald eagles. In the oceans bordering our town, we often see whales, sea lions, otters, and lots and lots of fish. So, what is it that makes Sitka so unique? Is it the small population? Maybe it's the beautiful setting. Perhaps the fact that we are cut off from the rest of the world may have a lot to do with it. Sitka has a low crime rate, an excellent school district, and a close-knit community. Tourism and fishing are the main stays in Sitka's economic base, followed by education and government agencies like the U.S. Coast Guard and the Forest Service. Our town has an airport, a ferry, and barge terminals, several marinas, two hospitals, and over 20 churches. We have three grocery stores, several pharmacies, and many restaurants. We even have a McDonald's and a Subway. Although our choices are limited, you can buy whatever you need in town. We have a movie theater that runs all the current hit movies and a bowling alley. Cultural diversity in Sitka is one of the first things you'll notice when you arrive. Many Russian influences are left over from the 1800s. Native carving can be viewed in the parks and highlight many areas of our scenic town. This mixture of art and tradition makes Sitka one of the most popular ports of call for the cruise lines. Sitka has been called the Paris of the Pacific. Our town is graced by three museums that keep our rich past alive. Visitors learn about the past of our area by visiting two local libraries. The school system in Sitka is one of the best our state has to offer. The Sitka School District brings technology to the classrooms. 
keeps teacher-student ratios low, and offers a good cross-curricular program. We're proud of our schools and the many programs they run. Many of our teachers have been nationally recognized and honored. There are also two colleges in Sitka, the University of Alaska Southeast and Sheldon Jackson College. You might want to work on your degree or perhaps take a class in computers, foreign language, or English. So, what do you do for fun in Sitka? There's almost too much to do to talk about. Sitka is very community oriented, so if it's athletics you want, Community Schools offers basketball, volleyball, and softball leagues. There's aerobics, karate, little league, swimming. You know, we have two huge indoor pools in Sitka. And dance classes. More into the arts? Well, there are classes galore. Weaving, pottery, drawing, carving, quilting, and more, more, more. There are many classes, workshops, and seminars you can attend in Sitka. In the summer, we have the Sitka Music Festival. Classical musicians come to Sitka from all over the world. There is also a writer symposium annually and a fine arts camp for youth in the summer. So, you're more into the outdoors. Well, welcome to Sitka. Our back door is hundreds of miles of wilderness. There is excellent fishing and hunting. Maybe you like to go camping. The Forest Service offers remote cabins to campers. No electricity, running water, or heat, but there is a wood stove and it's weatherproof. A truly amazing experience. It's kind of like the Holiday Inn of the North. Boating is another popular pastime in Sitka. There is so much wildlife in the oceans, on the islands, and near the beaches. Exploring is wonderful. Say you're more into hiking? The trails around town are really first class. People can hike safely on local trails. They lead hikers to the tops of mountains and other places with spectacular views. Sitka is a wonderful place to live. It has what you need to get by, but it's the community spirit that makes it so easy to call home. Cultural diversity. The teachers who care for us as individuals, not just as students. The experience of living with my friends in a dorm life situation. One of the best things we have here in Monashum are the activities we have, just like basketball. I like the academic organizations provided here at Manajkum High School. What I like about Manajkum is the friendliness and sense of family.
Hi, welcome to Manajkum High School. For the next few minutes, we'll be touring around our campus to let you see what it's like to go to school here. Good. Welcome to our library. We have the latest technology such as computers, CD-ROM, and NewsBank. We also have traditional meanings like books. This is the heart of MEHS campus. So much of what we do at school is on computers. Students use email, research stuff on internet, write papers, do projects for classes, and so much more. <laughs> Classrooms at Mount Edgecombe High School are colorful centers for learning. Seven periods a day provide a well-rounded, technology-rich education for students. Hands-on, experiential education motivate our community of teenagers. This is our gym. It is a wonderful building. In a small proportion of it, we have classrooms. The rest of it is a gymnasium. The building was an aircraft hangar during World War II, big enough to house a bunch of B-52s. Now we have two full-size basketball courts. We can hold over 1,000 fans, and we really pack them in during basketball games. There is also a weightlifting room and exercise area, bicycles we could check out, foosball and other great stuff students spend a lot of their ta free time in the gym.
Welcome to the dorms, our home away from home. We have two girls' dorms and a boys' dorm. Dorm aides watch us and keep us in line. The dorm has a laundry facility for us to use. The bathrooms are really nice. These are the telephone areas. The dorms have a nice lounge area where the students visit in the evening hours. We have computer terminals here to keep us connected. at our school provides three meals a day. Students check in prior to getting their meals. We have a variety of entrees to choose from. Meal time is very social at Mount Edgecombe. Kids visit and catch up on the day's events. I'm Ryan Moore. I'm Ron Brunson. And this is the 1996 Mount Edgecombe Wrestling Season. This year we did really well at regionals. We placed second behind Petersburg. We had three champions and qualified eight wrestlers for state. At state, three people placed, two fourths, and a second. A second place. Hope you enjoy our part of the yearbook. Hey, <laughs>
Okay. Bob stock. Let's load up the van. We're going to Bob stock. Grab the beer. Ha! <laughs> no comment. Presents. Ryan doesn't say much. Presents. What does it present, Ryan? No comment. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn this off. No comment. Eva Harvey. Pocahontas. What's up, John? Gwen. Um, yeah. We never had one. Who made this, Liam? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Present. Everybody says that on Ooh, office. suspense. <laughs> free fallen. You never had one. You're free fallen. Problems, pal. Okay, we can write in uh, 
Uh, Same writing. <laughs> She's a good girl. Loves her mom. Loves Jesus. In America, too. She's a good girl. It's crazy about Elvis. Loves horses. And her boyfriend, too. And it's a long day. Living in Reseda. There's a freeway. Running through. I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy For breaking her heart Cupid, you're a real mean guy. I'd like to clip your wings so you can fly. I'm in love and it's a crying shame. And I know that you're the one to blame. 
They can all sleep soundly And everything is alright My name is Terry Johnson, reporting for CNN. I'm visiting Mount Edstrom High School in Sitka, Alaska. Students grades 9 through 12 travel from all over the state to attend school. A high school education in rural and remote Alaska is not offered in every town. The state stepped in and opened a school that would meet the needs of students from the bush. Every year, over 300 students travel to southeast Alaska to go to school at Mount Edstrom. Kids go to classes during the day and live in dormitories on campus. The converted airplane hangar, donated after World War II by the government, provided a huge center for athletics and extracurricular activities. MEHS is best known for its implementation of Total Quality Management, or TQM, into its academic curriculum. Learning is centered around computers. Email and internet keep students in touch with their teachers and the rest of the world. Pacific Rim Studies plays another important part of the Edgecombe community. Foreign languages like Japanese, Chinese, and Russian are offered instead to the traditional European languages. Academics isn't the only thing that makes Monachkin special. Physical challenges and experiential education help students get to know each other. High rope and low rope challenge events at the beginning of the year serve as icebreakers. Students learn to trust each other on the courses and make lifelong friendships as a result. Kids have fun here too. They may miss mom and dad at home, but students find that the responsibilities of living on campus help them prepare for college years and time after high school. All in all, Manajkum High School is a successful approach to innovative education. The student body at our school is a community of learners committed to excellence. There you have it, Manajkum High School, exploring new options in today's educational world. This is Terry Johnson for CNN. At UAS, Manashkum students learn how to participate in a unique video productions class. In this video productions class, they learn how to use new technology and video production era while they receive a high school and college credit. Taught by Michelle Winger, this is an interesting class. productions class, student teams create and design their own projects, or work as a whole class to tackle a larger project. We write our own storyboards, shot lists, outlines, and even edit all our own material and video footage, using some of today's finest video productions technology. Some of the latest items produced have included Mount Edgecombe High School's video yearbook, music videos, public service announcements, 
and a personal interview with Alaska's governor, Tony Knowles. A Reading Rock, a children's show, students also videotape all of the Mount Edgecombe's basketball games and even travel out of Sitka to film the regional tournament. The advanced or second year video production students even direct, record, and participate in the yearly muscular dystrophy telethon in Sitka and help out in other community service programs. The students involved in this class learn, understand, and practice many exciting processes. Video Productions offers a great outlet for creativity and lots of fun. Well, I hope you like the conclusion of our tour through video, Mount Video Productions class. Um, as you can see, we do a lot of neat things, and hopefully you enjoyed it. This is Scott Metlicka signing out.